Welcome to GFC Visions, Growing in Friendship with Christ. Yesterday was the Feast of St. Patrick, and tomorrow is the Feast of St. Joseph. And nestled between these two major feasts uh, is a man named St. Cyril of Jerusalem, a fairly obscure saint, but uh, a doctor of the church nonetheless. Since uh, tomorrow I will be posting a video on St. Joseph. He's the universal patron of the church, and Pope Francis, uh, last year uh, around the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, dedicated this, uh, this year uh, as the Year of St. Joseph. So we'll have a special video on him tomorrow. But today uh, we're still right in the very heart of the Lenten season. Uh, we have about two more weeks to go till Good Friday and the Sacred Triduum. So um, I, I hope and pray that the Mass is... Uh, Public worship is resumed in Ireland before Easter. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And uh, it'll be the second year in a row that Catholics in, in uh, Ireland have been denied the privilege of, of gathering uh, for the most solemn days of the, of the church's liturgical year. It's a real sad situation, unfortunately, that we have. That's just the state of affairs. That uh, That's the world we live in today. And the Ireland that we live in now is not dramatically different from the one which the pagan Ireland which Patrick came to back in 432. And the country has uh, got many, many beautiful, beautiful shrines to holy saints and to holy, holy wells all over the island. And it was at one time the Isle of Saints and Scholars. But uh, may, may God resurrect and renew the faith uh, in this country, because uh, at the moment uh, the Catholic Church is, is really uh, being suppressed in many ways. So God, God help us. May God help Ireland, Europe, and the whole world to come back to him with all their hearts. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear us apart, trees to bend, though straight and tall, so must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming, home to me and living deeply our new life. The wilderness St. Cyril of Jerusalem. He was born around the year 315, and he died in 386. He's the patron saint of catechists. Cyril was born in Jerusalem, probably of Christian parents. Well-educated in his youth, he was ordained a priest by St. Maximus. And a few years later, he succeeded him as the bishop of Jerusalem. Cyril was known for his moderate temperament, but immediately upon coming, becoming bishop, he found himself caught up in jurisdiction disputes inherited from his predecessor, as well as theological controversies with the Arian bishop of Caesarea. In the over 30 years of Cyril's service as bishop of Jerusalem, he was investigated by a local synod, found guilty of selling church property to give alms to the famine-stricken poor, suspected of doctrinal error, and exiled from his diocese three times. He spent 16 years in exile. Cyril was named a doctor of the church in 1883 by Pope Leo XIII, largely for his catechetical lectures delivered to adult catechumens. His work is considered one of the first systematic presentations of Christian theology. Reflection. The political upheaval and theological struggles that Cyril dealt with were a little different from what we experience today. 
Conciliatory by nature, Cyril suffered immensely from the factionalism of his day that often ended in bitter recriminations. In the disputes, he was accused by both parties as being too sympathetic to the other side. And today, Cyril is a saint and a doctor of the church. When arguments about right belief lead to factions, labeling, and a culture of communication that doesn't reverence all parties in the discussion, Cyril's example suggests that we take a step back to, and seek to understand each other and work together. How do I respond to conflict, especially when it comes to issues of faith? Prayer. St. Cyril of Jerusalem, may I serve the church as you did in a way that is upright, just, fair, and courageous. Amen. We say a decade of the rosary now for all the bishops of the church. May God give them the, the wisdom and the courage to shepherd God's people in these difficult times. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. I will offer the third mystery of light, the proclamation of the kingdom. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Cyril of Jerusalem, and all you holy doctors of the Church, pray for us. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, O oh Lord, hear my prayer, when I call, answer me. Lord, hear my prayer, Lord, hear my prayer, come and listen. Yesterday I promised to include the breastplate of St. Patrick uh, in the video, and I sadly neglected to do so. So I will attach it to this video in a slide that you can see when, when I finish. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. Thank you so much for watching GFC Visions, Growing in Friendship with Christ. Have a good evening.